Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Now, at the time of recording this video, summer is just round the corner, and that unfortunately means shorter nights, longer daytimes. But there is still some astronomy we can do in the daytime, and that, of course, is solar observation, or in other words, observing the sun. Now, there's only one way to uh, observe the sun, and uh, that's the correct way. Okay, now unfortunately, and I mean this of all seriousness, the incorrect way can cause to uh, permanent damage of your eye, and in some case to, to, to blindness, okay, like instant blindness, um, and there's no second chances with your eyes, okay, so just watch this video very carefully and take in what I'm going to say if you've never observed the sun before, because trust me, it is very important because there's no way I'm going to put a video out about uh, observing the sun without stressing the importance of you never uh, point any optical device directly at the sun without there being some kind of protection. So what is the correct way of safely observing the sun? Well, there's filters, okay, um, and there's safe filters and there's incredibly dangerous filters. Now, the dangerous filters I'm talking about here are usually supplied with cheaper M telescopes and they look something like this, okay? Now, if you do happen to have one of these or seen them advertised somewhere, they're, they're very popular on things like wish.com and eBay, places like that. Amazon, I think, even stock these, which they shouldn't. These things are dangerous. All right, they, they have been known to shatter in people's eyes. They give you no safety harness whatsoever. Okay, looking directly at the sun is not safe. And I don't even really trust the correct filters. All right, even though thousands of people use them and they're like a uh, Maylar, Mylar type of film that fits over the objective. Now, I don't want to go too much into the techniques of, of uh, different techniques of uh, observing the sun. I just want to um, concentrate on one particular one and that is how uh, solar projecting, okay? Now, how you do this, okay, if I just put this little diagram up, it's a really easy, and it's probably the safest way you can possibly observe the sun, okay? You virtually are gonna point your telescope at the sun okay you do not look through the telescope in any your eye goes nowhere near it okay and you would hold a piece of paper because the sun's so bright it goes straight through the telescope and it will actually project an image uh, onto the white piece of card okay or, or paper now you can do it with a diagonal or something like that you can even do this uh, with the smaller size ref uh, reflectors okay um, I would advise if you have got a reflector to, to for Fracture, sorry, to actually take your diagonal out. Um, but there's a big but with this, okay? And that is, you cannot solar project if you have got any, and I mean any kind of plastic components on your telescope, okay? Now that includes the tube itself, the, the, the telescope's made of, the uh, the housing, uh, this part, what, what the focus is all made of, uh, the focusing tube, okay, and the even the eyepiece itself. All these components need to be metal, okay? Um, trust me, focus sun, sun's energy on plastic, as you know, you've seen, uh, you must have played with magnifying glasses as kids, okay, burning leaves and things like that. Exactly the same thing is going to happen to the components of your telescope. Okay, now, yes, I've done it. I did it when I was a kid, and I actually managed to burn through not just the focusing uh, <laughs> housing, but the focusing tube and the side of the eyepiece. Now, if, you, if your telescope does uh, take any of those um, issues I've just mentioned, please don't even attempt solar imaging. Don't think that, oh, maybe I could just have a quick look. Because if that sun just moves out for a split second, it's going to cause damage, okay? Uh, and, and unfortunately, there's no way around this. Uh, this is quite a new problem, really, because, uh, and this is all down to 
a lot of more components are made in plastic. Now, there's nothing wrong with plastic. There's some really, really good things made of plastic. But uh, at one time a day, telescopes were purely constructed out of metal and alloy and things like that. And so solar projecting was, you know, it was very common. And it's kind of died out a little bit purely because of this problem. Uh, now, like I say, if you want to get more into solar projecting, if your telescope is all steel constructed and you want to find out a little bit more about it, uh, there's plenty of research on here on uh, YouTube of showing you exactly how to do it and how to go on. But one little tip I can give you, okay, if you happen to have a uh, optical finder, okay, it's very important that you at least cap it. At best, remove it, okay? Because exactly the same thing can happen with an optical finder, okay? You can quite easy, accidentally, as you're lining the scope up, of course, you go nowhere near the eyepiece, but you kind of need to have some idea, okay? You could quite easily be hitting that finder. And just because the finder's weak, uh, a weak magnification doesn't mean it's not gonna cause damage, it will. And not only that, if you've got crosshairs in your finder, the sun's energy will burn through them in a nanosecond, okay? It will, it will destroy your finder scope. So always make sure that you cap your finder scope or at best remove it. Now, another way of doing, of safely doing solar projection without having the worry of things combusting, okay, bursting into flames, is you can also do them. I don't know where mine are, Andy. Uh, oh, there they are, excuse me a minute. You can do them uh, with with binoculars, okay? Now, as long as there are a decent pair of binoculars, and I mean, again, that everything is steel. It doesn't matter about this rubber. Uh, they usually come with, like, a rubber gripping uh, on the outside of the housing. But as long as the inside is all steel, okay, uh, there, you know, there's, there's no... <laughs> I am. I'm going to leave it in. <laughs> if you're if you're a regular to my channel, you know I've got an habit of throwing dust covers around. <laughs> I suppose this video is not going to be any different, is it? <laughs> Hey dear. Yeah, so you can do the same thing, but the problem is with binoculars, they're gonna have to be on some kind of mount, okay? Uh, and the way you would do it is just leave one of the uh, one of the sides capped, and again, just protect, uh, project the image exactly the same with card. So if you do own a pair of binoculars, then at least maybe you can have a go with them. But please, like I say, uh, the main purpose of this video is you cannot solar project with plastic eyepieces or any comp any plastic components on the telescope itself. So if you were thinking about solar projecting this year and you've never done it before and you've landed on this video, I am so pleased because, you know, there's nothing worse. I mean, I, I, I know what it's like to damage a telescope. It's, it's, it sounds melodramatic, but it's heartbreaking. It really spoils your day, okay? And I'd hate any of you guys to uh, go and break your telescope. Well, that's about it for another video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, maybe uh, think about subscribing, especially if you're new to astronomy, because this channel is all about you, the new astronomer. In the meantime, don't set fire to your telescopes, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.